assalamu alaikum everyone in this lecture we are going to go over some of the new terms and understandings that a2 chemistry requires you to know so if we have let's say you know enthalpy terms right so what are they and what are they supposed to mean right so if we were to talk about them or if we were to specify about them well the very first thing or the very immediate thing is that the same understanding about standard conditions there so standard condition the standard condition is the same as as obviously speaking and this is the condition in which the temperature is 298 kelvins and the pressure is 100 kilopascals the concentration is 1 mole per decimeter cube and lastly all reactants and products are in their standard state so this is carried over from as as well and when we have standard situations or standardized conditions well these are the conditions that have this symbol on them this type of symbol right there uh, that basically like a dash and a circle this basically represents that it is talking about standardized conditions, right? It is talking about a condition in which this standard is met. Otherwise, if that is not the case, the normal definition is carried over and the normal definition for each of the enthalpies is there. So if you talk about, let's say, delta H of atomization, well, this is known as enthalpy change of atomization. And the definition of this is quite simply when one mole of a gaseous atom forms from its element. This is known as the enthalpy change of atomization. A new terminology would also be enthalpy change of hydration and this is you know if, if you were to write it entirely this would be enthalpy change of hydration but well, you could simply give it a little bit more of a detail or you know define it and this is the situation in which one mole of gaseous molecules or particles dissolves in water And there is another terminology that, has, that is related to um, water, and that is enthalpy change of a solution. Now, you would say that these two are the same thing, but in fact, they are different. And the difference between them is that, first of all, this is literally the enthalpy change of solution. And the difference is, everything is the same. But now we are talking about an ionic solid dissolving in water. This is the difference between them. Right? Now, if you were to talk about them, we first need to understand what an ionic solid is. Whatever this ionic solid is or whatever it represents, we first of all need to break it down into a form that would be dissolvable by water. And this entire process is known as the enthalpy change of solution. Or the energy that is you know, converted in, in this entire process is known as the enthalpy change of solution. But in order for us to discuss that, in order for us to get into that understanding, we first of all need to get a little bit in depth about ionic solids themselves. Ionic solids are attracted to each other, or ionic um, solids within their particles are attracted to each other by um, electronic forces, right? And breaking that force requires energy, right? If you want to break that force, you would need to provide it energy so that that lattice breaks. Lattice being the word for pattern. You need to break that pattern of ionic um, molecules or ionic particles, and then they will be able to transform into their normal ions, and those ions will then be able to turn into, uh, let it become aqueous. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is that if you have NaCl solid, well, this NaCl solid converting into NaCl aqueous directly is simply known as enthalpy change of solution, right? You have a ionic solid converting into an um, aqueous solution. Right? It is dissolving in water. This would be simply said an enthalpy change of solution. But if you were to break this process down and go into its step-by-step -step process or what actually happens, well, another path that you could create would be, first of all, 
breaking down NaCl. If yeah, so breaking down NaCl into Na positive gaseous and Cl negative gaseous, and then converting it into NaCl aqueous. This would be another path. And as you guys already know, that converting gaseous ions and dissolving those gaseous ions into water here, and this, this should be the more gaseous ions dissolves in water. This would be known as enthalpy change of hydration. So you have uh, introduction to enthalpy change of hydration. Now there is something missing here, and this is this, the part that is missing. This right here. This is the enthalpy change that we are also supposed to understand in a very detailed form. And this is known as lattice energy. It is also represented by delta H lat. And this is known as enthalpy change of lattice. Or better yet, you could also call it the lattice energy itself. This energy that takes place when one mole of a substance is formed from its gaseous ions. And the lattice, another thing related to lattice is the lattice dissociation energy. This energy is when one mole of ionic substance is broken down. Let me just add another page. So the writing is easier. It's broken down to its is broken down to form its gaseous ions. And furthermore, another thing to keep in mind is that if gaseous ions are turned into a solid and that will change is obviously speaking negative because you're making the bond. So that is the thing that is placed right there. And this understanding right here can help you solve many questions in physics. This simple type of cycle that you see is able to basically solve a lot of the questions that come in this chapter. Some of which we will discuss inshallah in the next class.